Trey Gowdy asked if Witch Hunt is Deputy AG Rod Rosenstein's fault, has brutal response. South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy was recently asked if he blames Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein for Robert Mueller's witch hunt into Russian collusion. The Bulldog gave a brutal response that you won't want to miss during a recent interview on Fox News, Trey Gowdy was asked by host Martha McCallum if he thinks Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein is to blame for special counsel Robert Mueller's unbridled witch hunt that has been allowed to run amok without any accountability. Gowdy, who is the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, blasted Rosenstein and said that he is the mastermind behind it all. According to the Daily Caller, the interview took place on Tuesday, February 6, 2018. McCallum asked Gowdy if he had fears about Mueller's investigation going beyond its initial focus. We've seen special counsels in the past leave their purview and the investigation goes on for a long time, the next thing you know, you are investigating a Monica Lewinsky case when the president didn't even know her when the special counsel began his work. You don't have any fear of that here. Gowdy's answer was brutally honest. Do I have fear that jurisdiction may wander a bit? I think it already has, he responded. It has already wandered a little bit. But, I would not blame Bob Mueller. I would blame whoever drafted the jurisdiction and the charter that empowered him. If you look at it, it says matters that may arise from the investigation. What the heck does that mean? Is that a bank robbery in Topeka, Kansas? He replied. McCallum asked Gowdy if Rosenstein was the person responsible for writing that language, and Gowdy confirmed it. And that language came from Rod Rosenstein, she asked, which was immediately followed by, yes ma'am, as Gowdy confirmed it without a doubt. In my opinion, Attorney General Jeff Sessions is just as culpable in this witch hunt as Rod Rosenstein. After Sessions recused himself, Rosenstein decided he didn't have a boss and therefore had no accountability. That is a tremendous disservice to the American people. In the past week, Rosenstein has come under fire for reports that he threatened House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes and other GOP members if they did not stop the investigation into corruption within the Department of Justice and the FBI, according to WND. Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, who was recently interviewed by Sean Hannity, said that sources told him Rosenstein threatened the House Intelligence Committee members three weeks ago prior to the release of the damning FISA memo. I can tell you a congressional source tells me that Rod Rosenstein in a meeting three weeks ago threatened Chairman Nunes and members of Congress he was going to subpoena their texts and messages because he was tired of dealing with the Intel Committee. That's threats and intimidation, Jared said. Despite the alleged threats by Rod Rosenstein to stop their investigation, the participating House Intelligence Committee members released the FISA abuse memo on Friday morning. The House voted along party lines to share the explosive memo with the American public. The following morning, Jared took to Twitter with the news that a second source confirmed the story that Rosenstein threatened the House Intelligence Committee members. A second source has now confirmed to me that, in a meeting on January 10, Deputy AG Rosenstein used the power of his office to threaten to subpoena the calls and texts of the Intel Committee to get it to stop its investigation of DOJ and FBI. Likely an abuse of power and obstruction, he wrote. Greg Jarrett continued to hammer Rod Rosenstein with specifics on the crime he may have committed. It is a crime for a government official to use his office to threaten anyone, including a member of Congress, for exercising a constitutionally protected right. C-18 U.S.C. 242 and other similar abuse of power statutes, Jarrett added. Rod Rosenstein should never have been allowed to install Robert Mueller as special counsel. In my opinion, President Donald Trump should fire him immediately and Mueller as well. Rosenstein should be held accountable for his conduct and any crimes he may have committed while serving as Deputy Attorney General.